Alright, welcome back for the first day that we're actually racing on the salt. Uh, I have no idea what video this is at this point, but today is the day that we're getting on the salt. It was a question this morning. You'll see why. It was a question this morning if we were going to make it out to make a pass today. Um, even as much as Mother Nature has not been on our side, it is still on our side. And we are going to hit the salt um, sooner than later, but now you can check out what happened earlier in the day. Right here. Only, only. That's a lot. Out of that, who has never it. been here before? Never been here. Okay. And you, you guys up front, if you yeah, can. Yeah, come on up or, front. Or come around to the side, please. Which oh, <laughs> <laughs> is your rookie coordinator. I'm Ken Pell. I'm his, uh, whatever he needs me to do. Um, <coughs> Conditions aren't as great as they should be, so I want to just make sure that everyone's safe and drive or ride whatever vehicle you are to the capacity of your ability. Right? We want you to have a successful rookie pass, but we don't want people getting injured. So just because you can doesn't mean you should. Be conscious of the surroundings, and if it doesn't feel right, you know, take it to your limit, not to the limit of the vehicle. Um, first and foremost, all vehicles have to go through inspection. So um, you'll, before you ride or drive, your vehicle gets inspection, then it goes to registration, and then you get a yellow armband. So ability to successfully recover your vehicle. Um, make sure you're in radio contact, so all recovery vehicles need a CB. Fire extinguisher, make sure your rider or driver is safe. Um, Good point of contact is when your vehicle is about to go, do a radio check with the tower to make sure you're on the right channel. Right, I'm vehicle XYZ, recovery vehicle, radio check, right? If your vehicle goes down the course, you go down the return road, do not cross the course, wait for direction from the tower. Um, so when race vehicles are in line, you can warm them up, but somebody needs to be in them or on them. So if it's a motorcycle, somebody has to be on it if it's running, and if it's a vehicle, in it while it's running. No vehicles can be under power except on the race course or turning out on the return. Once you've turned out and stopped, the vehicle can no longer be driven or ridden. Understand? Understand? Yeah. All right. Um, be ready at least three vehicles behind. So when you're in line, there might be one or two lines. I don't know how it's gonna work on the starting line, but three in front of you, make sure you're suited up and ready to go, right? We don't want you to get to the front of the line and all of a sudden start getting dressed up, buckled in, leathers on, whatever. Make sure you're prepared back, um, have your crew with you, and then as you start to progress forward. when you are number one in line and ready to go, they'll say the course is yours. That doesn't mean you have to go, right? If you've been waiting a long time and you're feeling dehydrated or you just need to rest, give it to somebody else, take a breath, they'll come back to you, you're not gonna lose your place in line, be respectful and also be safe, right? So sometimes you're sitting in a vehicle for a while in an SFI 20 suit and it's hot, if you need a drink, Unbuckle, take some time, get refreshed, get back in your vehicle. When you're ready, the 
course, will be yours. Okay? With a driver's license, that allows you 125 miles an hour. That's an E. If your vehicle is capable and you feel comfortable, you're allowed to license up on the first run. Licensing up will get you a D license under 150. If your vehicle has a parachute, we want you to use it. Right, so a successful rookie pass is under 149 miles an hour. If your vehicle has a chute, pull it, get off the course. We'll talk about getting off the course. Get off the course safely, have your crew recover you, take your timing slip, go get your timing slip, take it to the starter who let you go off the course, down the course, have them sign it off as a rookie. He'll say, you know, 137. He'll say, rookie success, he'll sign it. Now you are good to go. You can license up and do what you need to go do. Any questions so far? Do you have to hold it? Are you going to go ahead and put that one in before you pull the other one out? Yeah, we can. Good. Hold on a second.
All right, so this morning when we got out here, it was a little bit drier coming out to the salt, um, and it was like, oh, this is looking good. But then uh, we realized that water has to go somewhere, and out here, if the water or the wind blows, it can push the water all the way over onto the course. So the course that was good yesterday then become underwater. The pit was underwater, um, so we really thought it wasn't going to happen. But they postponed the drivers' meeting. We went to the drivers' meeting, went to rookie orientation, and they have successfully made some passes down the track. Quite a few at this point. Uh, Speed Demon has gone, I think, 280 something. Um, they're getting ready to go back out. We're getting ready to go up. So um, we're going to get a pass today. My first one, I need to go between 125 and 150 to get a license. But I just have to go. S I can go slower and still get my rookie orientation done and not be a rookie anymore. So. Uh, yeah, it's a mess out here, but I think we're gonna get a decent pass today, and we're about to go get in line and get some of these nerves out of the way. Are you nervous? Oh, no. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I do. But I don't. I have to remind myself that I've gone on 2.12 in six seconds. So the mile an hour is not really what's scaring me. It's just getting all this order of process right. And I also don't know how the salt feels. dried out now it'll wick overnight uh, so what pass are you going for we're going for the 125 license which means I can run anywhere from 125 to 149 but that gets you your 125 license there's a difference in your licensing or your license and licensing up FYI so even though I can run 125 to 149 it's my 125 license so, uh, that's the average of 125 of your entry and exit speed. So there's been a lot of different information today where before I thought I could only go like the zero to one mile would be you're getting going and then they start time at one and then you were supposed to, I thought as a rookie, shut down right after two. Supposedly there's the option to go to the three if you need to. So technically there's two, op like two opportunities to get that. But people are making it down. They're having a good time with it. Like everything seems good. So I believe we're going to be good to go. And I'll feel much better in a couple hours.
up to her vibe. I don't know if it's a good vibe. <laughs> Into Roger. <laughs> when I get up there, you're going to be there to make sure all the switches are on and everything. Yep. And then Kim will pull pins on the okay. fire system. I'll pull pins on the chutes. Okay. Keith can do what he's doing, and then my last thing will be to come up here and look. Okay, and will you make sure I have that all the way up? I think I will be able to see it, but that's good right there. So. Yep. Okay, just when we're up there and I have We've it. been watching you do it, and you're catching it every time. Okay. So I think you're going to be fine. Yes. Jill wants to start her. Well, Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So whenever after this next one goes, the motorcycle pull up. Go to yeah, true. True. Yeah. We want to go over to us. Can she come over to us on our lane? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, 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 Alright, that'd be better probably. Your magic number obviously is going to be like 148. Okay. If ever you look over there and you're over that, you're going to want to back up a little bit. So going in all the way up to the first mile, I'm just getting a, like, getting a grip of everything. Yep. I want to enter as close to 125-ish as I can. 
Mm -hmm. And then I got that whole next mile to like do it. Yeah. And then exiting, I just don't want to be more than 150. Right. Roger, you're getting the shoot pins, right? You're getting the shoot pins, right? Yeah. All right. We made it, Keith. I know. Who would have thunk it? Me. It, it likes the Pro Charger better than the 580. Keith. I don't expect it to, but if it was to spin, I take my hands off. Yep. And I just. Pull yep, back. Just like that. Okay. You'll be fine. I don't, I don't expect, expect it. it to either. I just just be know. aware of that right pedal can make it do it any time, so just be careful with it. Okay. Drive it to the grocery store. This pass, just drive it to the grocery store. It's just not that important. We're not that excited to get there. Nope, it's all fine. It's all chill, relaxed. Slow, smooth, and controlled. Well, I'm about to put you in this car, okay? Okay. You just pulled off the course. Okay, so that means you're getting in the car. Well, sort of. Heather came to get me. She's like, you've got to send her. Like, I know her. Yeah. Okay, so today's your rookie pass, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So how far out are you going to go? How many miles? I'm going to just go to the, I know the first mile, it starts it. Check in the and as long as I see 125, um, I'm going to turn off on the okay. next mile mark. So the mile markers here, like you, there's a big number two on them, we passed them, it's really zero. Okay. And then the next mile marker, you're going to see the black ones out there are sort of miles, okay. you're going to see mile one. Okay. Then you're going to see mile two. Okay. And being that's your rookie pass, we don't want you to go much past mile two. You can okay. stay on your power to mile two, okay. and then turn out. Don't go out to three and four. I mean, past three and into four okay okay, okay. just because you first pass okay so we want you to keep it down keep it under 150 miles an hour okay all right other okay. than that just have damn fun <laughs> right that's You're right you're gonna be addicted after this i, I can tell <laughs> all right it's a new addiction let me see your arm straps okay we got a clear course i'm gonna send you okay, okay. all right have fun I'll catch you the okay have fun let's well, double check yeah. double check the shoot for me Go ahead, before he puts this up, okay. go ahead and I'm start it. Five, six, okay. three, six, rookie. Yes. Cut off.
absolutely perfect. Look at you. You're giggling like a little girl. You're giggling. Is that awesome? Is that awesome? Yes. That was surreal. Like, when it took off, like, I'm like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then it was, that was, I don't even, I can't describe that. You can't. That was incredible. You can't. And next time you do it, I won't be here, and you can enjoy the serenity no, of I yourself. I am so glad you're here. <laughs> That's perfect. That was so it was perfect. perfect. Awesome. It was. Perfect. I was alongside you for your gear show, so it was, just, it was gorgeous. <laughs> we got most of it on the slim team thumb here. That was so. so awesome. Oh my gosh. Now you, you see guys, what, now you see why we get addicted? Well, now I'm scared. Oh. Now I need another car. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's the part of the addiction. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. That was nothing like I expected. Like, before I realized it, I'm like, I'm doing it. Like, I'm in the middle of this right now. And like, it was just, that was so cool. Awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for making this an enjoyable process. Oh, it's, this guy we could help. It's, hey, we just wanted you to have a good time. Oh my gosh. Like, I, and the last car of the day. I know. I'm like Last trying to figure out day, how to get yeah. out of having to leave early right now. That's like my only thing that I'm trying to figure out. Uh, well, get a shot of this and say you were snowed in. <laughs> snowed in, like, sorry. You don't have to Weather say goodbye. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was the greatest thing. It's like totally different. And before I realized it, I'm like, I'm doing 100 and like 40 something. I was like, wait, that's too fast. And I was like, no, 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 I can do 100. You like, were 140 what? 10 miles, yeah. 24 or something. You were perfect. Perfect. I looked over and I was like, wait a minute, Alex, slow down. Okay. Oh, that was great. Uh, she gets her own parachute. You gotta love it. Drag racer. Drag racer. Drag racer. <laughs> you know what? I'm so glad you didn't get We're gonna leave you alone right now for a little solitude. Just enjoy this moment. You need to go, guys. Part of the Bonneville experience is the selfie. So we're getting a selfie real fast. Okay, come on. Well, that's it, Roger. Will you say it again? 143. Perfect. Okay, a rookie, right? Oh, yeah. 143. 143. Roger, you'll perfect. Because of that Congratulations. Oh, thanks, Roger. Good to be here. Yeah. Good job! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you that it. was so Told cool! You you. Oh my gosh, that was rad! Oh, hi! Good job! Thank you! Oh my gosh, that was the craziest! That was so crazy! It's like before I realized I was doing it, I was doing it. Like, I was like, I'm like, oh my gosh, we're doing 144, and I was like, I can't go that fast! I was like, no, I have 150, and that was so cool. Yeah, they put a tarp down in that hill. So before I realized it, I was doing it. Like that was one of the most epic feelings. Drag racing and this, like they're not comparable. Like they're different. And it was like before I'm like, okay, I'm going fast. I'm like, I am in the middle of making my first pass and I'm like, okay, and I see like the, the flags coming and I'm like, okay, one mile, we're going. And like, I knew I was like, it starts and then I was like, okay, two miles, done. And I was like, I just did it. And it was just like, it's an indescribable, it's an indescribable feeling. And it wasn't hard like I thought it was gonna be. The shifting wasn't like I thought it was gonna be like, now I'm just like, when can I go again? When can I go again? So, 10 out of 10. Look at this view. It's immaculate. I wasn't sure. I thought that I like lifted a little too much. No. Okay, so that was just. I think it's maybe too fast. We put bigger jets in it for the this other blower drive we were going to use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lee and them must have been doing the same speed. They were down here at the same time I was.
You can do that. <laughs> Keep going. A little, more, little more. Good. We made it! <laughs> that was so cool. That's like indescribable of what you guys have been saying this whole time. Pretty cool. That was so good. Right, did, did, did you find any loose spots? Yeah, but after that, like, it was just soft. That what, was what did soft. I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Jeez, way to go. So great. Way to oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to go again. I'm trying to figure out how to make that happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was cool because it's like I didn't realize like I'm like all of a sudden I'm like oh we're doing it. Like we are in the middle of this right now. And then I was like I got up there and I got to like 125. I was like oh, I'm going too fast. I was like no 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 150. And then I got back in it a little bit and it just like the car felt amazing. He just... gave us five five time slips. So I gave Keith one and then there's four no, more. I, I, I gave it back. Oh, okay. I took a picture. There's five time slips. There. Okay. I don't know what to do with that, but... You need to we'll take one. You take it there, we'll get you a license in the morning. Get you, get you the... They said we could take it out there in the morning and do it. We don't even have to go to call again. Perfect. Look at that. Hell yeah. said we don't even have to go to call again. Just take it out there in the morning. Okay. Yes. Nicely done, sir. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I sent this that video, I think he's crying. Okay, and he goes to the left, and then I like, got it right back. And then at mile two, there was like, a, like probably right after the sign, there's a little bit of a soft spot. But super easy to drive. Like, it was like you guys are saying, it's just, it's gonna do that just a little bit. Just, 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 I kept, give it some rain. I kept pressure probably pushing to the right. Majority of the run, like it wanted to go left, but just kept a little bit of pressure to the right, and it just. You're probably feeling the wind. Oh, maybe. Of the what? Oh, not bad at all. That was like, oh my gosh! Like, once I was out there, I was like, oh, this is nice. And, but it did. I, I don't know if I was pushing too hard, but in third gear, I kept feeling it like a couple times. It felt like it was popping on me. That, that maybe yeah, because I like. I kept my hand on it the whole time, and I probably was just like putting more pressure on it than I needed to, but I feel it like kick back every once in a while. I was probably, I don't know if that's what it was, but I. Like, it was also everyone. probably because your foot. <laughs> yeah, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, wow, that was really loud and echoey. That was. That was. So, we have finally got one pass in and done and it was successful. Yes. Jeez Louise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
They were excited for like three minutes. I saw it. I almost so, squeezed you in half. <laughs> but then he was straight face again. But, um, so I went 148 top speed. Three. 143 average. Top speed, 148. Since it's not a record, we do what we do. Whatever the car eat, Speedo said, that's how fast you went. I saw 148 because I was like, eh, eh, slow down. Yeah. So I guess averaged 143, and that was to get my 125 mile an hour license. Your D license. D license. And uh, there's, Tanya told me there's a difference in licensing and a license. So um, tomorrow, as long as the salt gods are with us. At least two, maybe three. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not a rookie anymore. I'm not a rookie anymore. <laughs> it's a big deal. All right, so we will be back tomorrow. Really didn't think today was going to go how it was going when we pulled in. No, absolutely not. It looked rough. So we made it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I enjoyed it. Uh, we had a lot of help from a lot of people, too. Turn around. <laughs> also, the All SCTA. these people helped us a bit. They couldn't have done it without them. Also, the SCTA has been incredibly great and helpful and welcoming and I got to the top end and Lee Kennedy and the rest of his crew that was riding down there with him were ecstatic and pumped and then they left me. They left me. <laughs> they said, they, they did. They were like, all right, this has been great. We're leaving. Enjoy this moment. And they were gone. How about but, the last pass of the day? I know. <laughs> last pass of the day. Thanks, Wayne Jessel, for helping that one. <laughs> Anyways, great crew here, lots of great people helping, making it easy um, to get through all these new rookie steps. It's a lot, but it's all good. We'll hey, just a couple old drag racers trying to set the world on fire. That's hey, right. I've fallen That's up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, as always, be happy, go fast, stay pretty. See you guys next time, tomorrow.